this is Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Lite and today I'm going to demonstrate that you can set up parental controls for this device. So first of all you will need to launch settings, onwards enter the Google category. In here make sure that there are no Google accounts uh, added to your system. If there are any we will need to just go ahead and remove them by tapping into Google account and going for the manage accounts on this device option and in here just open in each individual Google account you have linked and remove it one by one. After that, re-enter the Google section, go for the parental controls option over here, or the service, get started, child or teenager, next. Then go for the add or create account for a child option and sign into the Google account uh, that will be used for child supervision or oh, not for the child supervision but for the well child itself if you do not have any just sign up for a new Google account so enter the email address then enter the password then proceed with the Google sign-in if you would normally Then choose the Google account that we have just logged into from the list over here. Onwards, we will need to enter the credentials for the parent's Google account as well, or for the account that you will use as the parent or supervisor. So the drill is the same. Enter email, then enter the password. At the about supervision page, at very bottom of it to be exact you will have to enter the child's Google account password once again then tap the agree button then allow wait for the two accounts to get linked then proceed in here you can turn on or turn off respectively some of the apps but uh, you will be also able to do that later on. So if you would like to finish the setup earlier or sooner, should I rather say, just skip this page. The same pretty much applies for the uh, restrictions and filters and well, content settings. In here at this page, if the device that is written in a bold font is the one that you'll use as the supervisor, tap the blue button and the needed app will get automatically downloaded and installed on your parent's device. If not, you can just uh, skip and do this step manually, it's not that hard at all. So at this point, uh, all the preparations on the child's end were successfully finalized. Now, as a supervisor or parent, take your phone, then uh, download the Family Link application from the Play Store. After that, I will just go ahead and launch it. In here, the most important thing is to make sure that you use the parent's Google account to log into the app, the one that you have earlier identified over here as the parent's account. And at the family link app itself, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can set some daily usage limits for your child's device, the downtime routine, uh, the, uh, give me a sec. The, you can change the app limits and set them to begin with as well as monitor your child's app activity, apply content restrictions, uh, configure account settings, manage the devices, monitor your child's location and see your child or minor uh, device usage highlights. Alrighty, so that would be pretty much it as far as setting up parental controls goes on this device. We highly appreciate your attention. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.